Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've had a question come up. We're using Divi Supreme Modules plugin today, and we did a few videos on these 3D flip cards. Now I don't know if you can see when this card flips, it's like the text is almost lifting off of the card, and that's called a 3D flip. And a few people on some of the other videos said we can't find the switch to make it 3D. So I'll show you how to build a card, but before I do that, um, I'll I'll show quickly show you where the three 3D switch is. So let's enable the visual builder. And if I go down to this card right here, we'll go inside. If we go over to the design section and down to the bottom, animation, that's where you're going to find your 3D effect switch. Just switch that on to get it 3D. So for those of you that are asking that question, that's where the switch is. Now you will need to have Divi Supreme Pro installed and activated to use this module today. Okay, so let's build one. I'm going to hit the little button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray ones. And when you add Supreme Pro, you get about 50 of these blue ones here. And there's some really fantastic features. One of the things that makes the Supreme module stand out above the other plugins is its extensions. And we covered those in other videos, such as pop-ups and things. Here's a Supreme flip box. So I'm going to pop that one in, add a new item. Text, I'll just leave the text exactly like it is there. Let's move this over here so you can see. I'm not going to do any edits. Put a subtitle in there if you want to. Use your sort of text edit field. You can add media, links, bold it, italicize it, do what you need with it. You can add an image or an icon. If you want to link your module, you can do it down here. And you can have a different link for the actual button and the module itself. Use your best practices. If you're linking to your own site, open in the same window. If not, opening a new tab so your site stays open. You can add a button if you want to. Simply put in what you want and it's not going to show up till you actually put a link in. So I can just put a hashtag in there. And hashtag, always put a hashtag in if you just want to flip it to the other side and use it for a flip or something. And again, use your best practices with the URL. Okay, background, let's give it a color. I'm going to give it an image as well. I'll do exactly like I did in the last one, I guess. Choose a quick image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend the image with the color so that they, they mix together. So still in the image, you scroll down, background image blend. I'm going to hit multiply. There we go. It's multiplied that blue with that yellowy picture to give us a sort of green thing. And they've got all kinds here. You can get some fantastic effects going. You really can by just playing with some of these. So have a look at them and get some great effects going. Okay, well, let's go over to our design tab. Image and icon. Well, I'm not using either of those, but this is where you would edit those if you had. I'm going to go straight into the text. I'm going to put it into the middle. I'm going to make it light in color so we can see it. There it is. Now you've got all the usual sort of text type edits. You can do the title and body separately. All of them you can change the font. And I'm sure you know if you watch any more of my videos, Divi has hundreds and hundreds of fonts, literally. And so you're never going to get stuck with a font. Just go in there, hover over it. It'll show you an example of what that font's going to look like. I'm going to stick with my default today. And of course you can make it regular let's make the semi bold just to demonstrate there we go you can make it regular semi bold etc colors what have you all right and you can do the same thing for the body text same thing for the hub subheading text sizing wise you can give it a fixed height using minimum height just drag it to whatever height you you want it to actually be and as with most Divi modules, if you do something and don't like what you've done, simply select it, delete it, it'll return to normal. All right, so we pretty much got this side. 
And now let's do the other side. So we're going to save this one. It'll take us back to the main flip box module. For expediency, I'm just going to copy that one. I'm going to go in and just change the background to change that color just so we know which sides which. There we go, so we've got two sides now. How easy was that? And the reason my button looks like that is because that's the way it is in my default button settings customizer for the site. You can customize your button in the design tab any way you want. Just flip the custom styles button switch on. All right, well, we've actually got our little flip box going there. So let's save this. And we'll go to our design tab in the main Supreme Flipbox settings. Remember, that's where this 3D switch is down at the bottom with animation. And you can choose to uh, trigger it on hover, or you can choose to trigger it on click. I'm going to leave this one on click. And you can say either click on the whole thing or on the button itself. I'll leave mine on the whole thing. Now, Flipbox type, you can have it flip, slide, zoom in, zoom out, fade in. Um, I'll leave it on flip for this at the moment, but they do have some, if I put it on slide, you'll see the difference. You can slide up, slide down, whichever way you want, as you can see there. As you can imagine with the zoom effects, you've got speeds and things like that. And you've got a simple fade and you can choose the speed which it fades from one to the other. But I'm going to leave mine on the flip today because I quite like the flip box effect. It's very eye catching, especially if people are mousing around your site, get over something and that happens. It's going to get their attention pretty quickly, which is what you want with a website. OK, they've got a 3D effect here, which we mentioned earlier. I'm going to flip that to on. Before I do that, let's leave that off and, I, and we'll do this. That's flat. I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference because it's rolling kind of quickly. Let's slow it down a bit. And now I'll put the 3D effect on and you should be able to tell the difference. Slowly, it almost looks like that text is lifting off the page. It's almost like a horizontal parallax effect. That's a little quick, a little slow for me. Let's make it about three quarters of a second, something like that. And you can type in a value if you want to as well as using the slider. Just put in the numeric value and it'll put in the S for you for seconds. And you can choose an animation style like you can with any other module if you want to for when it animates in initially. So we should be good to go there. Let's just save our changes. We'll save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. And there we are, there's our little flip box. This one on the left here, we got on hover, as you can see. And then one on the right doesn't do anything at all till we actually click on it. And it's gonna spin when we click, because that's the option we selected. I didn't give this one a box shadow, got a bit of box shadow on that one. But like I say, that's a nice little feature to have on your site, really easy to do. And <laughs> for those of you who couldn't find the 3D effect, it's in the main module in the design tab under animation. So there you go guys, there's a 3D flip box for you with a fantastic Divi Supreme modules. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Day.